Recently I've done a bunch of videos covering different types of aliens, specifically ones of different color types. We've seen the translucent alien, the albino alien drones, your standard black, blue and brown aliens, the red genocide aliens, and then back to a mix of translucent and albino with the neomorph. Yet there's another oddly colored xenomorph out there from the extended universe, one with a yellow and sometimes even golden color, but it's not from the comics. Instead, this alien variant comes to us by way of the video game Aliens vs Predator Extinction. Today I want to take a closer look at the K series of aliens. Weyland yutani would luckily stumble across a strain of xenomorph trapped underground during mining operations on LV-742. These aliens would be studied and later genetically modified by Dr. Samuel Kadensky along with Weyland yutani bioweapons executive Charles Gold. The company had long sought after live xenomorph specimens, and with the K-Series, that dream had finally been realized. All throughout this franchise we've heard about the company's goal to obtain and study the xenomorph. Yet here, not only does the company finally have their specimens, but they have taken their studies a step further by genetically manipulating the alien in order to try to create their own breed to use as a bioweapon. We have no information as to how exactly these K-Series aliens were modified from their original alien cousins, and it's believed that their namesake, K-Series, is in reference to Dr. Kadinsky himself. The aliens are shown to be bright yellow in the artwork of Aliens vs Predator Extinction, yet in the actual gameplay they have a more golden toned appearance to them. Beyond this color difference, no other changes are noted in the game. These yellow aliens would end up acting in the same matter as their relatives, in that once they were able to break free of their human captors, they would create a hive and then give birth to a yellow alien queen. She would then go on to produce eggs like a standard alien queen until the unique species was eventually wiped out by the original competing hive of aliens. It should be noted that although these aliens seem similar to the red xenomorphs from the genocide comics, the K-series were created by Weyland yutani whereas the red genocide aliens were a natural mutation. In the genocide comic, the standard darker aliens fought with the red xenos, seeing them as competition. The same behavior was seen in Extinction where the original alien strain tries to destroy all of the yellow K-series aliens. It's noted in the game that the original strain of aliens see the K-series not only as competition for hosts and for space, but they see the strain as a threat to the species, fearing that they will have their makeup altered if they combine with this human-made alien. The yellow alien strain must have had some alterations that were detrimental as the creatures were bred to be a bioweapon, yet unfortunately they could not survive a fight with the original alien strain. Perhaps it's due to these aliens being bred in captivity, but that's never mentioned in the game. It's too bad that this breed of alien was only used in a video game and not in a comic book. That way we could have possibly had more backstory to the K-Series. I'm curious to know if the yellow coloring was intentional or merely a side effect. The aliens seem to be almost identical except in color and fighting prowess, so just what did the company scientists attempt to alter here? If you were a way you scientist working on a new strain of alien, what would be your modifications? What color would you make this Xeno so that you could tell it apart from other aliens? Would they be bigger, smaller, runners, drones? There are so many options and I'd love to hear all of your ideas down in the comments. And as always I'd like to say thanks for all of your likes, shares and subscriptions. Take care everybody and I hope to see you next time.